Discover more about Denmark. Get to know Denmark a little better with these amusing facts, which range from strange Danish traditions and letters, to old flags and amusement parks, to bike and swim friendly information. Denmark has been voted the world's happiest country on several times, and they continue to rank around the top of the UN World Happiness Report, now second. Don't think the Danes are impolite, if they fail to add please while requesting a favor, they are simply not used to using it in a sentence, because please has no exact translation in Danish. The Danish flag Danabrog, first recognized in 1219, is the world's oldest state flag currently in use by an independent nation. It's never looked prettier to be 800 years old, and they're celebrating in classic Danish birthday style, with a slew of flags, of course. Huga is a phrase that captures the essence of the Danish soul. Creating comfortable social gatherings and intimate get-togethers with family and friends is at the heart of Huga. It's a sense of well-being and a welcoming atmosphere. The concept of Huga can also be felt in the streets of Copenhagen, literally. Take a stroll down some of the small cobblestone lanes that date back hundreds of years. Colorful cottages, modest coffee shops, and vintage boutiques line these lanes, inviting you to take personal excursions. Some Austrian bakers settled in Denmark in the 1840s and introduced the renowned pastry. As a result, Danish pastry is known as Wienerbrod, or Viennese bread in Denmark. Denmark is known around the world for its bike culture, and the country's flat terrain provides a distinct benefit in this regard. They do have over 12,000 kilometers of bike tracks and lanes throughout the country, making biking a safe and respectable mode of transportation in Denmark. They adore cycling so much that 75% of them continue to ride even in the winter, and they even have a cycling embassy. Copenhageners pedal an average of 3 kilometers per day, which means they cycle 35 times around the world every day. In Denmark, the bicycle is definitely the favored form of transportation. Only 4 out of 10 Danes own a car, whereas 9 out of 10 own a bicycle. Some of them have multiples. Due to a large number of silent characters and a complex pronunciation, the Danish language is considered one of the most hardest to master. However, they made the challenge a little more difficult. Let us introduce you to three letters that you will not find in the English alphabet, A, O and A. They don't mind admitting that some of their Danish traditions, such as batting a black cat in a barrel, during the annual carnival fast love, and burning a witch on a bonfire at Zankt Hans, Midsummer's Eve, appear strange to the modern eye. But don't worry, the crazy has been toned down a bit, and now the barrels are only decked with cut-out versions of black cats, while the bonfires only burn doll versions of witches. Bokken, the world's oldest amusement park, is located within 20 minutes by train from Copenhagen Central Station. Tivoli Gardens, the second oldest, is located close to the same station, right in the heart of our dynamic metropolis. Both are excellent places to begin a fun-filled day. Dane Ole Kirk Christiansen invented the world-famous Lego brick in the town of Berlund, in 1949. You may now go to the original Legoland and discover more about this well-known toy at Lego House. They're especially proud of the fact that since 2018, Lego has used sugarcane-based plastic to make toy plants and other leafy parts. They're also close to perfecting the recyclable plastic bricks. It's fun and it's great for the planet. There are 444 islands in Denmark, although only 76 of them are inhabited. This means you'll have plenty of opportunity to go on an island vacation. The islands of Oro, Romo, Bornholm, and Leso are among our favorite and most popular island getaways. Bornholm and Somso were named the EU's most sustainable islands in 2020, so if you're looking for a green getaway, look no further. Within 30 minutes of the city center, there are numerous sandy beaches, but you can also take a dip in the harbor, which is clean enough to swim in.
A few of harbour baths may be found along Copenhagen's harbour, including Islandsbrugge, Kalvbodbrugge, and Nordarven. Clean harbours can also be found in the other major cities, such as Aarhus, Odense, and Aalborg. The city harbours are not only safe to swim in, but we may also drink water directly from the faucet. During your visit, you can take use of this luxury as well, as Denmark has some of the cleanest tap water in the world. No one is better than the other, according to an unofficial Danish rule. It's known as Janteloven, and it's an important component of Danish culture and philosophy, where everyone is embraced and treated equally. Janteloven is also one of the reasons why Danes often comment that things are going well for us, Denmark as a nation, when actors like Nikolai Kostowaldau play Jamie Lannister in Game of Thrones, or when Lucas Graham's album reaches number 3 on the Billboard 200 chart.